right, we are back. Uh, we're taking another look at this power supply real quick. I was going to explain it a little bit more today. You can see it also gives you your voltage readings on these. Average of 12.7 volts, running three and minor L3 pluses at standard clock with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Been running for well over a month now with those. Um, the machines are running great. I haven't had any problems, but I wanted to show you my uh, other little setup over here. I thought I told you I would be bringing some more information to you here. Okay, here's uh, a box I just made. Made for three Ant Miner L3 Pluses and two D3s. Or three uh, regular clocked uh, L3 Pluses and two overclocked ones. And on how you want to do it. It's up to you. Um, anyway, here's these power supplies. Kind of a cool little power supply. They have the boards here, and as you can see from earlier, they have the voltage coming out showing on the board so that you know how many volts are coming up down your quartz. Um, and with these little power supplies, which I'm going to get you a link for those here shortly where you can buy them from, along with uh, the power cables, because you have to buy the power cables separate, just like the uh, bit main ones. Difference is, is this one power supply that will run three L3 pluses actually runs cheaper than two of the bit main and or than two of the bit main power supplies to do the same thing. Except for these power supplies will actually run two D3s, two S9s, two three L3 pluses, or a D3 and an L3 plus and a S9 in an L3 Plus together at the same time. So no matter what, you get a minimum of two units worth of production out of these for less than the cost of the bit main one. And uh, when I get you the link for everything, you won't even have to go searching for the power cords for these. Because um, I'll even include the power cords with these. Or I'll include where to get the power cords from with these. But anyway, the power cords are pretty simple. you got your uh, little uh, uh, 220 volt plug that comes out to the C9 adapter. Not a regular adapter for a computer like uh, most uh, power supplies. Um, if you don't run these on 220 volts, they're just not going to run. And that's the same thing with the bit main ones, where it's harder to find the power the power cords. Uh, and uh, you can actually buy the uh, the uh, power jacks for these particular cords from Lowe's or Home Depot, so real easy to get a hold of those too. But anyway, uh, you can see if you count these cards, which you get two of them with each machine when you order them, they come with enough plugs to plug in everything but three plugs. And we solved that by giving you a little Y adapter here that actually plugs into the end of the regular cord here and then uh, splits out one to the controller and one to one of the boards on your L3s, S9s, or D3s. Uh, the reason being is the board's a lot cheaper without having to add those three other plugs for one. Um, it's cheaper to give you the cord and it's just less wires. <laughs> There's a lot of wires when it comes down to three of these running at once. But, as you can see, I have this nice little setup now where I'll be able to put five units in one box. So I'm going to actually run three L3 pluses and two D3s or two S9s in these. Uh, then we're going to be, as you can see, we have the power supplies here. And these power supplies, the reason why I built these boxes this way is if you look down in here, I have made a little slit for for the uh, airflow which will all go out to this vent. Now I'm going to test these for about 24 hours and see what my temperature readings is on my units. If I see it spiking I will cut another hole on this side and put another four inch vent with a fan power on it too. So I mean that's no big deal. I might even do that before I run these but we'll see. But anyway these boxes will collect all the heat coming off of those L3 pluses because uh, like I've stated before these L3 pluses 
just don't vent all the heat out of the back. They uh, have, about, have on top of them where the cards come in. Here, we'll give you a, a close look at those. <laughs> these cards, if you look, are open in the top on these things and heat just pours right out of the top of those, therefore heating up your cold rooms that you have these in or whichever room you have these in. So by building this box, I'm going to also be capturing that particular heat coming off of those and also venting that out without uh, uh, without heating up my room like, uh, like mad. But this box is a trial box. We're going to be um, testing it with this wooden one. We just made it as a mock-up. And uh, if it works out okay, then we're going to be going to a welder and having them build us a whole bunch of these. We're going to be running about uh, about uh, a total of 250 units within the next uh, six months. So we're definitely going to need these uh, for us. Um, but anyway, like I said... This has also got its own exhaust fan pulling air out of the box, so any air accumulating in there gets sucked out as fast as it's put into the box. Anyway, leave me uh, some comments, uh, go ahead and subscribe so you can uh, kind of watch our progress as we go, and uh, watch us grow. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.